Well, hello, we're back with another custom kits video, kit designing video, whatever you want to call it. I received a lot of support on my previous video, so thank you for that. I did not expect to do as well as it did. Um, and I had quite a few comments asking me to make an away shirts video. So what I've done in this video is I've designed 20 away kits for each of the Premier League sides in the upcoming season. I had a lot of fun doing this as it gave me more freedom to experiment with designs and colours than what you might normally see on say a home shirt where the colours are quite set in stone of what they have to be. Um, so this allowed me a bit more freedom and I really enjoyed doing it to be honest. And we're going to go in alphabetical order. And the first one is AFC Bournemouth. And it's this beauty. So what I did with this away shirt was I revisited a design I had sort of blocked out for the home shirt um, before I created what I did. Um, and I thought I'd, you know, tweak it a bit and see if I can make it work in blue. Now, Bournemouth don't normally have a blue away shirt. I do believe they have in their past. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, they might not have. And if they haven't, I do apologise. But I thought it would look nice in blue. So I tweaked the design a bit. And this is the shirt I came up with. And I'm a really big fan of how it turned out. So yeah, I went with a design similar to the one that you can see in the badge with like the stripes on one side. Um, I also made the badge blue so it matched better with the kit. Um, I think a red badge would really ruin the design I'd created. So I thought, switch it to blue. It works well with the away shirt colours and I think it just ties the whole thing together. Um, so blue and black shirt, thicker stripes on one side and then they um, thin out. So it's sort of like the, um, the crest but also unique in its own way. AFCB on the back for AFC Bournemouth of course and then the Umbro logo and the sponsor in white um, which goes with the white on the badge as well so I'm a very big fan of this just shirt there's like a sort of like spotty design throughout the blue elements of the shirt which I think just adds a little extra to it if it was plain it'd still look nice but I think the little dots throughout the shirt add just a that little bit to make it that bit better but yeah very happy with how this Bournemouth shirt turned out I think it looks phenomenal and I'm going to be disappointed when it inevitably is not this. <laughs> and then we move on to Arsenal and I went with a little yellow and purpley navy sort of colour. Now this is a colourway the Gunners have used before and I thought it looks really nice. You know some of Arsenal's nicest shirts have a very similar colourway to this. And I went with centralised manufacturer and badge because I'm just a sucker for that to be honest. But it works really well with the pinstripes. So yeah, I was definitely inspired by previous shirts that the Gunners have had. Um, I wanted to put a modern twist on it, gave it a nice, lovely, fancy collar, which I think just works amazingly with pinstripes, collars and pinstripes. Very sort of retro design, but my God, are they beautiful. It's got a little red, orange, alternating pinstripes without the design. And I just think it's like a really smart shirt. Um, the Arsenal logo in that monochromatic yellow and purple as well looks brilliant, purple or navy. But I think it's a really nice shirt. In retrospect, I could have made the Adidas logo a bit smaller. It does look a bit too big when I'm looking at it there. But that's a tiny little element. All in all, I think the shirt looks lovely. Very clean, very classy. And better than whatever Arsenal are going to give us. Because if it's if it's as the leaks lead us to believe, that's dreadful. <laughs> but obviously, it remains to be seen. But yeah, I'm very happy that Arsenal shirt turned out. And yeah, I think the centralised crest and manufacturer logo really drive home the design of the shirt. I don't think it would look as near as good as if they were in their traditional positions. But then again, I'm a sucker for a centralised badge and a collar, so maybe I just created this to be something I like. <laughs> and then we move on to Aston Villa. And I created this. Now, at first viewing, it looks horrid. I agree. It does look dreadful. But what I've done here is I've attempted to make a modern recreation of the 94-95 away shirt. Now that shirt, it's, it's a very Marmite shirt I feel, I quite like it, but I, uh, I can imagine the average viewer would dislike it, and you know, each to their own, it is a very garish design. Now I've tried to update it and modernise it with a sort of like faded lines, sort of colour scheme design I guess, with the keeping the red and the black and the green, but just trying out a different design. And I'll be real, it doesn't look great, I will admit. I put some thin stripes in there to add a little extra design element and it also helps to centralise the crest and the uh, castor logo on those lines to keep them in the middle of the green bars. Maybe I shouldn't go with faded lines, maybe they'd look better if the lines were solid, but I thought the faded lines would be an interesting design element and you know what? It'd be very bold from Villa if they went for a modern recreation of this shirt because the colours don't exactly work well together but I think it looks alright. I've also colour matched the Aston Villa badge to the shirt. Um, just to make it fit a bit more and the BK8 sponsor is just dreadful so it does 
bring the shirt design down quite a bit but that's the sponsor they're going with this season so i've got to respect that and then i put a villa line on the back just to just a little bit of summon summon but yeah i, I can i can see that the shirt is not going to be everyone's cup of tea i just thought it'd be fun to try and experiment with a, a modern recreation of that very interesting shirt and then move on to Brentford and I've really leaned into their bees nickname with this number now it does look a bit like Watford I will admit but they are the Hornets so there's a bit of crossover there anyway I went with just a bee emblem for this shirt because I think it looks much better than either a standard Brentford badge or a colour match Brentford badge I know they like to experiment with different badges on their shirts like they did with the previous season's away shirt I believe um, so I carried on that with just the bee in the logo that's black with the umbra logo and the hollywood bet sponsor as much as i hate the hollywood bet sponsor it is brentford sponsor so it needs to be included unfortunately um i went with the larger yellow shirt with black stripes as bees normally look like and then i i couldn't resist i had to go with the umbro tape cuffs as well because it's just my favorite cuff design from umbro but i think it works well with the bees um aesthetic so you've got faded stripes at the bottom, they sort of fade in, they get thinner as they go up um, and they don't come up past like probably the waist, the belly button maybe, a bit higher when it's a shirt, maybe just like, I don't know, so, you, you see what I mean, it fades up and then there's like a hexagon pattern within the shirt which mimics a beehive. I think it looks really nice, I'm very happy with how the shirt turned out, I wanted to lean into that bees nickname quite a bit, it says the bees on the back as well to further drill that in. And I think like a Hullycomb hexagon design was a very interesting but a very almost obvious choice because bees make honey, they live in honeycombs and this is perfect for that I feel. So I think it just ties the whole shirt together and it looks beautiful. And yeah, it really leans into that bees nickname but that's what I wanted to do with the away shirt and I'm very happy with how it turned out. And then we move on to Brighton and I created this red and black number. Now in my family best ever kits video like every team's best ever kit um, I said I was a big fan of the red and black Brighton shirts so I wanted to create a modern version of that for their away shirt now I know they had one in I think 2015 but that didn't look too great so I wanted to make a nice looking recreation of probably my favorite Brighton design so I wanted to modernize it I love um, zigzags on kits so that's what I did for the Brighton shirt it takes it away from AC Milan only showing their color scheme and I guess Bournemouth as well for the home shirts and gives it a unique look it's got the american express in red as well to color match it in a bar as they normally do but the centralized brighton and hove albion badge and the nike tick in that central stripe which i think works wonderfully it was carefully positioned to to work <laughs> and then they've got a black seagull on the back as well um, as i said it's my favorite brighton shirt design um, the black and red color scheme so i wanted to incorporate that into this design um, and while they're not going to be using it this season they've already released their away kit i still think this looks lovely and I'd like to see Brighton experiment with something like this next season because it looks good. And then we move on to Burnley and I created this. In some ways it's sort of a reverse of their home shirt where I had them having faded lines that faded as they went up. This one has lines that fade as they go down but there are also stripes. So the stripes fade down as well and then they've got some blue pin stripes in there which fade as they go up. So yeah a big element of this was being white and blue as those are the most common Burnley away colours. I put some claret in there as well because they are one of the claret blue teams. So that is on there as well in the sponsor, in some of the stripes, in the umbro logo, in the collar, uh, in the badge, and then the little Burnley line on the back as well and on the cuffs. So there is quite a lot of claret, but it's not the main colour. And yeah, I think this turned out very well. I'm not a fan of the W88 sponsor. It's a shame Burnley went with them as their sponsors never look good. But I put it in claret with a nice little blue outline on it. So it you can see it when you look at the shirt. You don't want it to blend in, which I tried to avoid. And I think I did a good job. We've got the Umbro logo and Claret as well as lot, as well as a monochrome Burnley badge, not the updated badge. They're not even using that updated badge on their home kit, so I, I don't know what they're doing with that. But I've put that in Claret with a nice blue um, outline as well to separate it a bit more from the uh, lines on the shirt. And yeah, I've gone with a fading gradient, almost like a lines gradient pattern um, that fades as it goes down which i think just looks really nice creates another classy looking shirt for burnley and then the classic umbro collar which is probably one of my favorite collar designs from umbro to be honest i'm a big fan of it this looks like a lovely away shirt for burnley really focusing on that white and blue instead of claret and blue and i think i did a good job if i do say so myself and then move on to chelsea and it's very much the same for chelsea as i went with another pinstripe design but this time focusing on white black and blue now they've had a few shirts that have been white black and blue in their time with white being the main colour which is what I've done here 
And then I've had alternating pin stripes of blue and black to also add to those two colours. I've gone with a black Chelsea badge, a black Nike tick, and then a blue sponsor. Now Chelsea don't have a sponsor at the moment, um, but there were some things that could hint they were going with Nintendo. I don't think that's going to come into fruition, but the shirt looked great with a Nintendo sponsor, so I added that in blue, and then black and blue collars, and an inverted black and blue cuffs as well to really make use of those colours. And then it's got CFC on the back, which is obviously Chelsea Football Club. And I think this looks lovely, and there's like a liquidy pattern in the white aspects. I'm not sure how visible it is on the video, but there's like a liquid pattern within that white base, which I just think looks lovely and adds a bit of an extra design element to the shirt. I'm a big fan of how it turned out. I could have made the Chelsea Lion blue, to be honest, looking at it now, but I think it looks nice as it is in white. And yeah, I'm just a fan of it. Very classy pinstripe number. I, I, I like pinstripes as a design element. You don't really see it too much um, nowadays, which is a shame because it is a nice design choice. Um, so that's why I went with it for Chelsea. And then we move on to Crystal Palace, and this is their away shirt I went with. Very interesting design, I know. I wanted to make use of that Crystal Palace pattern that they've got on their home shirt this season and implement it into one of my own designs because I'm a big fan of it. I also went centralized badge and manufacturer on this shirt as well. A big fan of the Crystal Palace logo. I think it works really well when it's been centralized. And I've also got one of their retro logos just on the back as well. I've gone with a red, white and blue sash, I guess. It does kind of look like a tube map now I'm looking at it, but I think that's a design choice you know they, they're from london london's known for its tube as well so why not have a tube map on your shirt <laughs> and then obviously cinch sponsor and then on the cuffs uh, with mostly black but then they have a red and blue little design on the very bottom which i think is a very cool looking design choice if i do say so myself and then a red stripe on the collar and a blue patch on the back of the shirt with the retro crystal pies logo on it I'm very happy with how this turned out. Um, I wanted to focus on that zigzag design that I had on the home shirt for Crystal Palace and bring that through to the away shirt as well. And I think they did a good job of doing that. Yeah, I just love a centralized logo, as, I've, as you've heard me say before. And I think the Macron logo as well works really well centralized because of how the, sort of the, the triangular design on it works very well um, symmetrically. So yeah, I think I created a very solid shirt for Crystal Palace here. And then we move on to Everton. And I'm very proud of this shirt. My main design element was Rupert's Tower, as they've had this sort of simplified design on their shirts for a few years now. I want to implement that into a pattern. So that's the main pattern of the shirt, it's Rupert's Tower, um, both up and down. And then I incorporated a sash design into that by colouring them in Everton blue and then a lighter blue as it fades out into the rest of the shirt. Now the stake sponsor does ruin this design. It'd look a lot better without stake, but unfortunately that's who Everton are sponsored by. But I've got the Hummel logo in blue as well as the Everton badge. They're all in colour matched blue. Um, the blue chevrons on the sleeves as well and then a very classic collar in blue and white same as the cuffs and then it says EFC on the back in a very classy font but yeah I'm a huge fan of this design it reminds me of that um, old wolves shirt from years ago where they had the wolves head in the designs um, and I wanted to sort of create something similar here and I think I've done a brilliant job um, Hummel do love their patterns in the shirts, so there's every chance Hummel could create something like this for Everton. I mean, it's very unlikely, but they could. Um, so yeah, it's a sort of sash design incorporating Rupert's Tower, which is a very prominent design element for Everton. And I think Everton did it very well, if I do say so myself. This is one of my favourite shirt designs. It took a long time to create, but I think it worked out really well. And obviously the design continues onto the back as well. So yeah, very big fan of this Everton shirt I created. Um, I don't think anything they create will come close. <laughs> And then we move on to Fulham, and I created this number. Yes, it's another AC Milan type kit, as I've gone black and red, which is a classic Fulham colour scheme as well. I really wanted to modernise it and create something very unique that Fulham have never seen before, and I think I achieved that quite well. So the main element is there's one stripe, one straight stripe going through the badge. Badge aligned perfectly, so it intersects that white section of the badge. I thought of going with the simplified FFC again, um, but I actually thought the shield worked a lot better because of the you know the black lines and the red of the shirt. I, I just thought it looked lovely. And then I went with a bold geometric zigzag pattern on the other side to just create something unique. It's something that Fulham have never seen before and I think I achieved that perfectly. Now we have faded red lines on the sleeves as well as red adidas stripes on the shoulders. And then a white and red collar as well to just tie in with those cuffs and the Spotop sponsor I guess. 
and then we have London's original football club on the back just as they do in their current home shirt and then yeah there's like a little checker design within the red elements of the shirt which just add a little extra design element which I'm a big but I'm very happy with how this Fulham shirt turns out it's very bold very striking but I think it looks lovely and it looks better than anything I think Fulham will give us this season of course I would say that I did design it but yeah I'm a big fan of this design I think one of the best shirt designs in this video if I'm honest and then we move on to Liverpool um, and I create this number. It calls back to their away colours of green and white, which I've used quite a lot in the past. They're also using it this season, but I've gone with a different green, a more maybe a more muted green, maybe. I'm not sure what the terminology would be, um, but it's more of a classic green that you'd see Liverpool using. Um, we've got the Liverpool badge in green, the night tick in green, the sponsors in green as well. And then we've got this, similar to the Brentford shirt with the uh, gr line gradients on the shirt, but they're coming from the bottom and the top as well, which I thought was a very funky design element. And then I've gone with this more retro collar with a big patch here, which says LFC, you know, Liverpool Football Club as well. Could be left bl blank, but I thought it looked better with LFC in it. And then on the sleeves, it says you'll never walk alone, which is the design they've used already in sort of like training gear and stuff. Um, but I thought it looked really nice on the sleeves um, and adds an extra design element to the shirt, which would have looked quite plain without it, I feel. It's got the 96 on the back to remember those who unfortunately lost their lives in the Hillsborough disaster. I think that should be a staple of any Liverpool shirt. And I wanted to introduce it here as well. Obviously, that line gradient continues on the back. And I just thought it was a very unique design that Liverpool haven't used before. But I think it's a very cool design element that hasn't been utilised in a lot of shirts recently. And I think it looks wonderful on this Liverpool shirt, this green and white Liverpool shirt. I think it's very classy. I'm a huge, huge fan of what I've created here. Um, and I think it's a very nice cohesive shirt design. So yeah, I'm very happy with this Liverpool shirt. It looks lovely. Get on it, Liverpool. Come on, guys. And then we move on to Luton Town, and I've tried to recreate one of their old retro kits here. So this is the shirt I've created. So this is a callback to their 89-93rd shirt, considered one of the nicest shirts by Luton fans. And I honestly agree, it's a very nice looking shirt. It has this sort of retro diamond design on the original shirt, so I wanted to alter that, create something new. But also, you could see where the inspiration came from, but modernised and changed to give it its own identity. And I think I did a good job doing that. It's a combination of white chevrons and black chevrons to give the design some more depth um, and then faded pinstripes that fade, sort of fade in from the, the more transparent elements of the, the main design. And I've replicated that on the sleeves as well. It has a very lovely retro collar which is both blue and a bit of dark purple black sort of colour as well um, which is a nice tertiary colour which just adds a little bit extra to the shirt and doesn't make it all blue and white. I've gone with the a Luton badge in white as well as a white Umbro logo both with blue outlines to just separate them from the stripes a bit so they don't all blend in. Utility sponsor in white as well as it just goes with the rest of the shirt design and then yeah I just think it looks lovely. I'm a big fan of how this design turned out. I think it's a very classic Luton shirt design and I wanted to bring it into the modern era as one of their nicest kits and then we've got a lovely Hatters logo on the back as well to just tie the whole thing together. So I think I've got a lovely cohesive shirt here it's a retro shirt brought into the modern era and I think I've done a really good job doing that if I do say so myself. Yeah, I think it would look lovely in real life if I'm honest. You know, I don't want to toot my own horn but I think I've created a really nice shirt here. And then we move on to Manchester City. And oh boy, the original version of this was actually my favourite ever Manchester City shirt. It is very, very interesting. We'll say that much. I think it's very much a Marmite shirt. The colours don't normally consider going together but on the original shirt it looks beautiful and I think I've done a really good job of it here too. So to modernise it I moved away from the simple stripes design and I, did, I went some waves you know. I thought it looked funky fresh, it very much does look like a summer shirt, I can, I can definitely see that but I was a huge fan of the original Manchester City shirt so I wanted to pay homage to it and do a modern recreation and I think I, think I did a pretty good job. So the main shirt design is yellow and purple slash navy um, with light blue accents following the main purple stripes and then on the collars and the cuffs as well. So I've done the Umbro logo in that light blue as well, the city blue. And with the crest, instead of going for their circular logo, I just went with the shield which is inside that circular logo. And I think it's a very nice design choice. It works a lot better than the circle does. And it just adds a bit of uniqueness to a Man City kit as they pretty much normally have that circular logo on them. The Etihad Airways sponsor is in a yellow bar which does cut off the pattern but I think with the pattern of the shirt it looks a lot better like this rather than having it overlaid the pattern with a over, with an outline um, and then the city boat on the back as well going with the classic collar much the same way the original shirt had 
um, with a very similar design as well so while it's a very bold shirt i think it looks lovely um, it's a very modern recreation of that very classic manchester city shirt which i'm a huge huge fan of and then there's also some like wavy designs within the purple elements of the shirt to just add a little bit extra to that design i'm a very a very big fan of this shirt design i created i'd love to see city do a modern recreation of that classic shirt i mean i know the color scheme isn't the best but you could create something beautiful like this and despite how garish it is i'm a huge fan of the design i created i think it's phenomenal and then we move on to manchester united and i created this little number now i can see this being quite a polarizing shirt with united fans but i'm happy with what i created i think it's very unique and i'm just happy with it to be honest so we've gone with a sort of mainly white design with a black and red gradient on opposite sides of the shirt almost creating a white sash through this way um we've gone with the manchester city logo inner shield like they had on previous seasons i've mentioned that i do like when clubs do this and i think it works a lot better on this shirt than just having the red devil um, just floating about really and um, we've gone with the adidas logo in red as well um, and then a black and red sponsor you know mutualizing the club's colors which isn't like team viewer they usually just go in one solid color but i thought you know two alternating colors adds to the shirt design as well they've got a little devil on the back in black they've got a um, black cuffs with a red band um, on the sleeves as well which adds a little design to the sleeves makes them look better than just being plain white that gradient design throughout the body of the shirt i did try it on the sleeves but it didn't look great so i figured we'll just keep it on the body of the shirt um, and it's created of red and black diamonds in a gradient design the black is sort of offset from the red to create a unique look to the gradient and i think it looked lovely up close in person i'm a big big fan of the design i created it's something very unique for manchester united as i don't think they've had a shirt design like this at all in their history so it'll be a bold new direction for their shirt design um but it represent the bold new direction they're trying to go as a football club under 10 hog so i think it's phenomenal not as good as the man city kit but still a nice shirt nonetheless and then we move on to newcastle united and i've created this thing now I say this thing as it's a quite a bold shirt from Newcastle United, but it is inspired by a previous design. So this is actually based off two Newcastle shirts, which Newcastle um, had when they were under Adidas. It's based off of the 96-97 away and the 97-98 away. And I've taken two design elements from each of those shirts and kind of wove them into one. So we've gone with the purpley colour scheme from the 97-98 shirt and taken the sash design and put it on the other side. And then we've taken the sort of stripe design which is known from adidas and implemented that with the newcastle colors which is pretty much the same as it is on that shirt anyway black and white um, and then we've got the wavy pattern for the purple elements which represent the river tyne and i think it looks lovely so obviously the original design of this sort of like stripes was the three stripes of um, adidas so we've added a couple more in there to represent newcastle as well and i think it looks lovely it's a very bold shirt from newcastle it's not something they've had in quite a while they've had the similar color before but not the actual design that i've gone with so we've put the newcastle badge in there it does sort of blend in which is nice it blends in with the stripes of the shield and the stripes of the actual shirt which i think is a nice touch the castle logo in white so you can see it and it it works well in white i think it'd get lost if it's in black um, and then the seller sponsor which they've gone with which doesn't look great but it, again it's newcastle's sponsor so what can i do i've just put that on there i haven't i didn't want to cut off any of the sash so i didn't uh, i think it's better that way as well and then that similar design is also in the cuffs and on the collar as well with nufc on the back and a little black stripe and a white stripe underneath that it's a little 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 design element to really tie up the whole shirt but i'm a very big fan of the design i created i think calling back to the river tyne a very well-known river in newcastle i think it's a brilliant callback to their to their culture to their the city of newcastle um, and then obviously the black and white of the magpies as well just a, a lovely shirt all around i think i've created a brilliant away shirt for newcastle there and they should have it more make this shirt now i know you've released your kits but make this one as well because it is beautiful if i do say so myself and then we move on to my beloved nottingham forest and it's another retro remake so this is based off of the 97 99 away shirt which also became the 99 2000 third shirt which is made by umbro experiments like this allow me to create shirts i'd like to see um, and that manufacturers may not actually create but hey you never know so i've gone with the red and black stripe design that was featured on that original shirt it's been flipped so on the other shirt it was 
red than black on this one, it's black than red, with the Forest logo saying centrally in that stripe, in that sash. And then obviously the Adidas logo in red as well to tie in with the design of the shirt. And then I've gone with alternating pinstripes of black and red to further that color scheme. The main shirt being white, so it's very different from the red of the home shirt, but it still has that girl body red on it. This black and red stripe continues on the sleeves on the original shirt. It's only on one sleeve, but on this design, I've put it on both. And I've tried to line it up with the Adidas stripes as well, which I've done in black and red as well. And then on the back, we've got one star in red and one in black to represent the two European Cups that Forest have won. And then I've put the Forest Wave under that as well. Now, while it does look a bit big um, on this shirt design, it would be a lot smaller in real life. Um, it just looks quite big on here for some reason. <laughs> Huge fan of the design I created. I'm a big fan of the um, pinstripes. And then there are also some sublimated stripes throughout the design as well. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of this retro remake from Nottingham Forest. It's a very nice design, a shirt I would love to own at some point. And I think a modern recreation of that would look lovely. So that's what I've done here. And you know what? We don't have a sponsor yet. We've not confirmed a sponsor, but sponsorless, it looks quite nice. And I think with a sponsor, it could look decent as well. Depends on the sponsor, of course. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of this Nottingham Forest shirt, of course. But I think it looks really nice. Oh, I love Nottingham Forest, what can I say? And then move on to Sheffield United, the final newly promoted side. And I went with this crazy little number. So the main away shirt color I've gone for is black. And then I've had this white sort of geometric stripe design throughout the shirt. Just to, you know, add a very cool design element. And then in the black as well is the, the lovely rose um, that's very much associated with Sheffield, um, especially Sheffield United. They had it on their promotion winning shirt, like their promotion... Well, not the shirt they wore in the season the one promotion but they released a special shirt for it they had the roses on there and i wanted to bring that design into this kit and i think it looks lovely um, being part of the black like a black rose is a very cool design element, i feel and then i've got one cuff in white and one in red which just thought it looked cool to be honest there's no rhyme or reason to that one and then i've got a very classic color in red white and black which is the design colors i've gone for in this shirt um, it's by area area i'm not sure how you pronounce them but they create very classy shirts and i think this is one of those while the design is quite striking i do think it's also very classy and then i've got the blades on the back as well classic um just a lovely design element and a very cool one which uh, i think sheffield united should um, use more fan of this white geometric pattern on just one side of the shirt I, th I think the shirt still looks balanced while it's only on one side i'm just a big big fan of the design to be honest i think it's very cool be a very unique shirt for sheffield united as they've not had a shirt like this before but even with a just a normal badge not monochromatic still think it looks really well and works really well with the design choice i've made and the red on one of the cuffs ties into that as well so i think i've created a really very nice shirt for sheffield united here their sponsor does get in the way a bit i will admit but what can you do that's their sponsor at the end of the day i've given it a white outline to sort of separate it from the black background but without the sponsor it looks phenomenal and then we move on to tottenham hotspur now tottenham hotspur's home shirts have been very disappointing in recent times but their away shirts have been a little bit better though not by much so i wanted to go crazy in this away shirt and i took a previous design from their uh, their kit history and modernized it and created this beautiful kit so this is based off of a shirt from the 85-87 campaigns when they were with Hummel. They had a mainly blue shirt with light blue stripes going the opposite direction though. So I've changed up the direction. I kept slanted stripes as I thought that was a very cool design element. You don't see that in too many shirts these days. So I wanted to implement that. And then I've put the Spurs badge littered throughout those light blue stripes. And I think it looks really cool to be honest. You know, I think Spurs should utilize their icon more. It's a very simple icon, works well monochromatic, and I think it would work well as a pattern within the stripes of their shirt. The main Spurs badge is in white, and while it doesn't align perfectly with one of the Spurs in the um, stripes, they are slanted at the end of the day, so it wouldn't work out too well, to be honest. Night tick is in white as well, and then a white sponsor, just to tie it in with the shirt design more. I know Spurs AIA don't normally color match themselves well with Spurs shirts, but I thought, you know, in my perfect world, they would. <laughs> We've got plain sleeves and then a triple colored collar of that light blue, the main blue, and then a white as well. Same with the collar. And I think it just looks a very nice shirt. They've got a very, I don't know if it's a retro logo or just like a, an icon that they use with the THFC in the circle on the back. I've put that on the back because so I thought it was a very cool design element. You don't really see Spurs using it much. So I thought we'll get some use out of it, stick it on the shirt and it looks phenomenal. 
So yeah, I'm very proud of this Spurs shirt. It's a very unique item for them especially in their modern era they don't really go too hard with their shirt well, i was saying that they've had some very interesting shirt designs in their recent past but i think this is a phenomenal spurs away shirt and something they should definitely look at doing next season and yet yeah, even the like the spurs logos within the stripes they still add an extra little shine to them you know little, little easter egg in there but i think phenomenal stuff if I do say so myself. And then we move on to West Ham and I've gone with this number. So again, like Burnley, I've implemented the claret colour in this away shirt. But again, the main colours are white and blue. They have very similar colours, West Ham and Burnley. But hey, I guess they're claret and blue teams, so they're going to share quite a few crossover with colours. This is based on a retro shirt design as well. It's based on the lovely 2002-2003 away shirt from Fila. Very similar base shirt design with a white base and then blue pinstripes. I've gone with the same white base and blue pinstripes, but I've given them claret sleeves, a claret collar, and then a claret badge and umbro logo, as well as claret hammers on the back. The Betway sponsor is in black. Doesn't look great, I will admit, but Betway never, look good, never looks good as a sponsor, and it didn't look right in claret. It just felt like an overload of those colours, so I've just put it in black, you know, basic. It looks all right, but it's never, never been a good-looking sponsor anyway. And despite, you know, claret being their home colour, I think it looks nice on this away shirt the claret collar as well with the blue stripe it's a nice retro collar it's a nice retro callback to the original design the collar is very similar just with that blue stripe added and yeah it's a very classy shirt for the hammers i'm a big fan of it to be honest i mean i know i created it every shirt i've created i do like but I'm, I, there's just something about west ham and pinstripes you know it's just something that they should utilize more i feel like they've kind of fallen off in the past but they should definitely bring back pinstripes because well, a lot of shirt a lot of teams should bring back pinstripes to be honest but I think the white and the blue pinstripes just wonderful design and finally wolverhampton wanderers and i've gone with what i'd say is an out there shirt so it's not really based on any previous designs from wolves i kind of just went crazy <laughs> see what worked and i landed on this thing so the main color is black with red anything else you know red wolves like a red sponsor red manufacturer red accents i'm a big fan of it so of this hexagon design which i thought looked quite cool and then i added a red dotted gradient um throughout it's not really that visible on the on the um, front but on the back you can definitely see it um towards the back top of the top back i don't know what like top air shoulder area i guess um not good with <laughs> terminology um, but i want the hexagon design as it's very similar to the wolves badge which i've got monochromatic in red well, it's not really a hexagon is it well no it is a hexagon really so i've tried to implement a similar shape in the actual design of the shirt which i think i've done i've created this made from lines but you see the the hexagon in there um i think it's a very it's funny i think it's a very cool design to be honest and i think it'll look great as it shines when the lights it hits it on the the main black body of the kit um, i've gone with red cuffs and collar with a black band throughout um, the black band on the collar also has a red band in there um, which i think looks lovely i'm a, a sucker for collars as you know the red castor logo as well looks brilliant and a red Astro Pay. Not a great looking sponsor, but it looks good in red. So there's that. And then I've got a red wolf on the back as well. And while it looked nice, just black and red, I wanted to add that little red dotted gradient, add a little extra design element into the shirt. There's something that when you look at close up in person, you'd be like, oh, that, that's, that's quite cool actually. So that's what my aim was when creating the shirt. And I think I executed it quite well. It's a very dark wolf shirt, very edgy, some might say, but I think it looks i think it would work well for wolves i think it's a lovely color scheme they could even change the red to orange if they wanted to so yeah this is the wolf shirt i created big big fan of it obviously with castle the quality wouldn't be amazing but the design could still look cool which is what it's about really <laughs> and yeah this is the uh, wolves shirt and that is all the away shirts i created for the upcoming 23 24 season I know most teams have released their away shirt by the time you're probably going to be seeing this video but it's always a fun experiment to do and they could also pick up these designs for next season which would be insane imagine having a premier league club adopt a design you created for them that would be insane um but if any premier league clubs do i'm a big fan of all these designs i'm sure you'll enjoy them and i'm sure your fans will enjoy them too maybe not the villa one the villa one's definitely the weak outlier of the bunch but all the other shirts look quite cool, I think, so uh, hit my line, <laughs> you know where to find me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.